Pitching for the Pilots, number six, Pat Day. for Lindsey Wilson, the center fielder, Alex Salcedo. Pat Day will take over on the mound for the Pilots as we go to the top of the eighth. If he's able to hold off Lindsey Wilson here, it'd be a six-out save for him as the Pilots lead by two here. In the top of the eighth, top of the order, coming back around for the Blue Raiders. Salcedo takes a strike, and it's 0-1. Alex Salcedo, the center fielder for Lindsey Wilson, 0-3 today. He struck out looking, he's grounded out, and popped out. 0-1, a nice breaking ball there for Pat, and it's 0-2. Last year, Pat was 2-4 with a 4-9-1 ERA. In 36 and two thirds innings, he had 46 strikeouts. Pat had a lot of games there toward the end of the season where he came in out of the bullpen, including that conference championship game, and he slammed the door. Also made some starts in the middle of the year. Did. Him and Rennie both going back and forth. Here's the one, two, strike three call. Got him looking, and there's one down. Right fielder, Jordan Gardner. So now Jordan Gardner, he'll come to the plate. One through three in the batting order today for Lindsey Wilson, 0 for 10. Gardner 0 for three, a strikeout and two popouts. Held in there for a strike, and it's 0-1. Oh, 1 pitch. That one just off the plate. May have moved just a little too much. Evens it count at 1. Here's the windup. 1-1 one, one pitch just missed there. 2-1 and one now to Gardner. Hitters 1 through 3 in game 1 today. It was 4 for 10. There's a base hit right side through the hole. And Gardner is aboard with a one-out single here in the 8th. A good piece of hitting by Gardner. Outside fastball, Pat. Really feeling it today. Velocity is getting on up there. Just took it the other way. Got the simple base hit. Down by two. You need base runners. You're running out of outs. Well, that's definitely, as a coach, how you want a hitter to hit on any day, no matter what the wind is doing, but on especially a day like today when the line drives are going to hold up a little more for the outfielders and the fly balls are not going to travel near as far. As Waldo Calderon, two strikeouts and a ground out today. One out, a runner at first takes a strike. 
as Day gets ahead. Lindsey Wilson did not get their first hit of the game until the seventh inning as Rennie Tolentino retired the final 14 batters that he faced. Went six strong innings today. Nice breaking ball in there. Strike two to Calderon, 0-2. Gardner leads at first. Panday comes set. Here's the 0-2s. Blew it by him. Two down. So here's Stephen Calderon, the DH, 0 for 1. And this one grounded a short in the fourth. He walked and scored in the second and seventh innings today. Two down and Gardner at first. You're in the top of the eighth. Step off throw. It was close, but he just got back. That one fouled straight back. Calderon right on that one. Just got a piece of it, 0 1. And you can see Pat really not even messing around with the breaking balls. Coming right up, you said it was with fastballs. 12 pitches, 9 strikes. Definitely feels good so far today. One pitch, another fastball, a little bit low. And we'll even the count. One and one on Steven Calderon. Lindsey Wilson, one more game left. In this invitational, as they will play tomorrow morning at or tomorrow at noon against Tabor, and the Pilots they'll play the nightcap tomorrow night against Clark, and we'll have that one right here for you on the LSUS Sports Network. And then the Pilots' last game of the weekend will be Sunday at noon as they take on Tabor. Swung on and miss. Count even two and two now. Felt like a nice cutter out of the hand of Pat there. Mm -hmm. Had the velo of a fastball, but just cut away from Calderon's bat at the last second. That was tough to hit lefty on lefty. Two and two. Got him swinging, inning over. And that retires the side. <laughs> for Lindsey Wilson, the second baseman, Nick Sanders. Pat Day back out for the Pilots for the top of the ninth inning. Five, six, seven, due up for Lindsey Wilson as Nick Sanders takes ball one. Sanders won for two today. Singleton scored in the seventh. He walked in the second inning. Grounded a short in the fourth. 1-0 pitch. That one will leave in the count. See if Pat can keep that same mentality. Pitching in a two-run game is a little different than pitching in a five-run game or six-run game, that is. That one fouled away one and two. But Pat seems locked in tonight. I don't think anything is going to phase him, or at least nothing has so far. Here's the windup and the one-two. Breaking ball, one hopper back to Pat. Underhand toss to Hammock, and there's one away. Left fielder, Tyler Maskill. Here's Maskill, the left fielder.
And Day gets ahead with the breaking ball there. A skill today, one for three, an infield hit in the seventh inning. Have one high and away to even the count. One ball and one strike. On our next broadcast here on the LSUS Sports Network will be tomorrow night. First pitch scheduled for 6 o'clock, but we'll see if we make it. It'll probably be closer to 7, I would imagine. 2 and 1 the count. Pilots will take on Clark right here at Pilot Field. 2 1 pitch from Pat is high. 3 and 1 the count. It doesn't get any easier from this point on. I mean, every team playing yeah. in this tournament is a real good baseball team. So the Pilots will have to stay on their game if they want to defeat Clark. And then Sunday, it definitely doesn't get any easier with Tabor. Mm -hmm. Pilots got a little taste of what Tabor had to offer last year early in the season. 3-1 misses for... A walk to Miss Gill, and then it will bring Oliver Baez to the plate. Third baseman, Oliver Baez. Ryan Powells and Bo Gilbo talking to Pat Day on the mound. Right, let's have some action. Uh, some starting to get loose in the bullpen, but... Hopefully, Pat will bounce back in one pitch right here, roll a double play, and get out of it. Oh, well, he dropped the ball on the mound, but was he on the rubber? Well, he must not have been on the rubber yet. <laughs> and there's a break. Fastball a little high for ball one. I gotta say, for the most part, this home plate umpire has been very consistent in this game. He hasn't, there hasn't been too many just wild mm -hmm. strike calls or just blatant misses, you know. He's been consistently not calling that high pitch for a strike. Runner at first with one out here in the top of the ninth. Step off, throw to first, but the runner back easy. Pad Day in a safe situation. As he came in, it was a two-run ball game. But if a reliever came in right now, they would not be in a safe situation. 2-0 pitch. And that one high again, 3-0. Pat starting to get a little flustered there on the mound. He thought that one was good enough to warrant a strike call. 3-0 pitch. That one is for sure. That's an almost guaranteed strike, a 3-0 fastball. Mm -hmm. For some reason, pitchers just know how to pour it in on that, in that count. 3-1 on the way. Check swing, roller to first, and it just goes foul. Count full on Baez now, 3-2. Looks like the pilots have a left-hander and a right-hander tossing in the pin, but he blows it by him here, and there's two outs. I think Pat saw LaValle's gesture down to the bullpen. Pulled a Lee Corso on him. <laughs> Not, Not so, so fast. fast. <laughs> two down and a runner at first. Chavaria at the plate, 0 for 3 in this one. Here's the pitch. I went in there for a strike, and it's 0-1. And, and a 
Here's the 0-1 pitch. That one off the plate. That will even the count. 1-1. Runner at first gets a lead. 1-1 one, one from Pat. Now it upstairs. It's 2-1. and one. Now Pat had no problems in the top of the eighth finding the strike zone. But here, especially the last three hitters, it's been pretty stingy. 2-1 pitch. Ooh, that one taken for a strike. That evens a count. 2-2. Two and two. Pat one strike away. Hammock will not hold the runner at first now. Two and two on Chavaria. Pat Day comes set and the 2-2 pitch. And that will run it full three and two. And that will give Maskell a head start here. But it really doesn't matter in a six-run game with a runner moving. Three balls, two strikes, and two outs. That day comes set. The payoff pitch popped him up on the infield. Foul ground right side. Hammock calls it in, and the Pilots win it by a final score of 9-3. to 2-2. Two, two, or... Flips to off speed here. He goes with a fastball. Gilbo hangs on to it, and there's one away. That one's in there. Strike three called, and the pilots are out of way. Here's a 2-2. Right down there the middle. Is. The ball game is over. The 